Welcome to the ShareWalls online tutorial videos. This last video of the series Flexible and Rigid Diaphragm Design will cover the torsional analysis results sheet in the software. This tutorial is complementary to video 2 and video 3 where we respectively went through detailed information on flexible and rigid diaphragm analysis. We will now take a look at the torsional analysis on both of these assumptions. This is the same existing model used in previous tutorials. The link to download this file is available in the description below. Using the flexible distribution assumption, we will generate loads to the shear walls. The forces will then be distributed by tributary area. In the Canadian version of the software, the log file generates some useful additional information for flexible diaphragm analysis, which is worth discussing. If we look at the top of the log file, we can see that there's information on the torsional analysis for flexible diaphragm seismic design. The software has added the accidental eccentricity of 5%, which is described in the National Building Code Structural Commentary J174. Notice that only the torsional rigidity for the direction in question is used for this analysis. This information is included in the log file so you can see the effect that the 5% accidental eccentricity has on flexible diaphragm distribution. Now, if we run the design using the rigid diaphragm analysis assumption, the log file becomes populated with torsional analysis details. If we look at the top of the log file and scroll down a bit, we can see the rigid analysis. For seismic design, Shearwalls is adding an accidental eccentricity of 10% from NBC sentence 4.1.8.11.11. The torsional analysis reports the torsional rigidity J for both the X and Y directions of the structure, the center of rigidity, and the center of load. The rigidity used in this analysis will change depending on whether you have selected capacity or deflection-based distribution in the Design Settings tab. If we return to the Loads and Forces tab, switch to Seismic Loads, then switch to Rigid Analysis, both the center of load and center of rigidity will display in plan view on each story.